whole family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm doing the darn thing today for leo sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher if it's your first time here welcome to the tarot dome this is what i call it if it's not your first time here welcome back to the tarot dome fam it is really good to see you and thanks again for joining me uh, guys, this is going to be very, very general energy, so please keep that in mind, all right? What that means is that some of the messages are going to resonate and some of the messages will not. It's just the way it is. Not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single person, okay? So take what does and leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates for, at, for you at all, my goodness, in your sun sign, then definitely check your moon and rising signs. And if those don't do it for you, then definitely check another reader. I just may not be your person this time around. That's the way it goes. We know that as readers. So, um, you know, uh, keep that in mind. Okay, guys, anything you need to know about me, like the cards I use in this reading, following me on Facebook or Instagram, you can find in the description box below. And lastly, if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. And if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe, become part of the trab. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I need to say a quick disclosure. I have got a brand new kitten and a brand new, I mean, I just got this kitten last night. So if you hear the squeaking or if a cat just runs across my table, you know why. Hence why I have my water sitting up here where the cat cannot reach it just in case there's an accident. Okay. So yeah, it's been an interesting night. But let's get into it because, you know, Leos, we like cats. We are cats. We keep cats. It's what we do. So Leo, what do we have coming up for you? I have the pre-shuffle here from the, um, uh, the energy oracle cards that I've been using for the last reading or two here. And I want to talk about these energies really quickly. Okay. So the first one we have is appreciation. This is card number 15 and I want to read the meaning for you. Um, this is choosing gratitude. Okay, Leo, choosing gratitude. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom, yet around and behind her are bramble bushes. She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty. Instead, She's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open. This card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is more to come that you can't see. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This card shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring you more worth and riches of and riches of life to you so really really nice energy guys this is about some blessings coming through okay not only that i feel like it has a little bit to do with your value and your worth as it said appreciating yourself for who you really are leo and you might be in an energy of like you know wanting and needing those around you to um to appreciate you this could be in a relationship it could even be in your family something like that so appreciation is coming up strong and maybe some of you have felt undervalued recently or in the past um, and this card is saying great you are getting to that place if you're not there yet or you have been acknowledging and appreciating the little things about yourself instead of making the thorny bushes behind you the bigger issue, right? So really, really nice energy. You then have 13, the financial constraints. Um, let's see. And this card says restrictions concerning money. This card shows an old fashioned safe with little money, but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. So rein in your spending and be circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence. So be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference 
uh, between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have, okay? So for those of you, um, you know, having some financial concerns, basically, you know, Spirit is saying, make that a concern and spend your money where it is actually really needed instead of, you know, maybe buying yourself a, a pretty dress so you feel good, right? Or um, a new suit for, for the males that read these videos. What did I say? The cat would eventually be on here. And <laughs> so it is. <laughs> she is, look, she's the cutest thing in the world though. Look at that little face. Hi. Okay, go bye-bye. Um, so <laughs> that's Ripley, by the way. So um, the financial constraints, it's a 13, it adds up to a four. So it has to do with your stability, okay? Maybe some of you really need to save for something that's coming, um, maybe even unexpectedly or something that you want to be doing. So it's about prioritizing your money, not investing in things that you know might actually lose you money that kind of stuff okay so and with this appreciation it's a 15 it adds up to a six so it reminds me a lot of that that uh, six of pentacles energy where it's like you know um, the balance of feeding one thing or the other and not only that the appreciation you know, like you know because the guy on the card is kind of giving breadcrumbs to one person but not the other so you might be feeling that that person that's not getting everything you deserve, okay? So I feel like some big changes are ahead for you guys, Leo, but let's go ahead and get into some tarot and see what we got going on, all right? So what do I want to use today? I think I'm gonna use, I have out my um, Santa Muerte tarot, so I might clarify with that, but I think I'm gonna start with my Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Okay. All right, Spirit, what are the messages you have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher from June 15th to the end of June? What is it that Leo needs to know most for Leo's highest good? What is coming Leo's way, please? Thank you so much. Interesting. All right. So guys, very interesting. This is the part where I ask that you stick around because I do go ahead and clarify these cards. Okay. So I could have one level of readings here. Um, and then we might have a totally different energy when we start clarifying, but I'm going to start here. Okay. So we are at the Two of Wands. That's the energy we're starting with. We have the Lovers, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the um, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Let's go ahead and get an overall energy. Overall energy of this reading, please, for Leo. Overall energy of this reading for Leo, please. Wheel of Fortune, and I got an extra card here with the Six of Swords. So moving away from something. So an energy is changing here, Leo, okay? Um, things may be calming down a little bit, and some of you may be seeing a change in fortune altogether, um, a completion of some sort of cycle here, all right? So the, this kitten wants so badly to jump on this table and touch everything that's on here. And she's trying to figure out how to get here again. All right. So we start out with the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's your energy. This is, you know, now that we've made decision number one, we're at decision two. Okay. So we're making choices about what we're doing next. What are our next steps um, so that we can, uh, begin in the process like maybe you've had an idea leo maybe you've been 
Maybe you've been working at creating something, okay, and you're at that next step. So you've, you're, you're here making a choice over something. You see one wand is behind and the other is the chosen. And it's kind of like this energy of like, I have the whole world at my feet. What do I choose to do with what I have? The power of creating something, um, imagination, um, the fire that, you know, Leos have, right? So somebody could be uh, working at a creative project here. This could also very well be regarding a relationship and being at that place where it's time to possibly decide the road that you're going on, Leo. I say that because we have the lovers here, okay? Gemini energy. Now, anytime we have a tarot card that shows up with an angel, it's something that it's like spirit is watching over. So there's a connection that you've been in with somebody possibly where it's been kind of a deeper connection, a spiritual connection. It could even have been very twin flamey or felt that way. Um, and it's almost like it's, it's a meant to be energy, a meant to be. Um, these two people are like, it's boobies and dang dangs, you know what I'm saying? People are naked in front of each other. So they're willing to see the deepest parts of each other, um, even themselves in this process of coming together, okay? So there's a decision I feel like if this is romance um, about some sort of romantic relationship so far, but we'll clarify. We then have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a new offer coming through about stability or a message, okay? Could even for some be a conversation, but I almost feel like whatever this is, the nature of this relationship is shifting. We'll find out whether this is, you know, a, a split up or anything like that, but it feels very much like either a new offer is coming through that feels very soulmate-ish for lack of better term here, or there's a new offer or some change coming in this relationship with stability, okay, stability. We then have the Page of Cups, same type of thing, little messenger here, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, and again, dating, romance, love, uh, maybe even a small offer coming through. We have this is uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, by the way, for the sign with this page, okay? We then have the Seven of Wands, so setting boundaries maybe some of you um need to set boundaries in relationship or this is you uh having set certain boundaries here um this could be a conversation a kind of clearing of the air that you might have with somebody here um in uh the end of july and this turns i feel like in your favor okay it's like you and the partner you might be in relationship with are having um more connection um having more stability like this if this relationship was rocky at some point or has been kind of back and forth on and off i feel like for some of you it's getting clearer about the commitment level and the romance and um you know uh creating that like closeness with each other that intimacy okay some of you could also be planning a trip or taking a trip together but we do have this boundary card so i feel like for some leo here you have needed to have a conversation with somebody about setting boundaries this is your energy aries leo sagittarius okay and fighting for that keeping your stance because I feel like whoever you have been in relationship with tends to cross the boundaries. It's like they forget, you know, conveniently that you said X, Y, or Z and you're constantly maybe having to have a conversation with somebody, all right? The energy of what this is doing is like moving, it's like moving away from, I feel like some sort of confusion about what you guys are. I don't know that this person's been up front with you. Um, they may have been making romantic gestures or saying the I love yous, but the action may not have been there. I feel like this is a person now taking action in this, all right? 
The Ace of Swords ushers in a brand new beginning and clarity if we're talking about a relationship here, okay? So divine clarity coming through balance happening again in the relationship. Communication that is honest and clear coming in here, okay, guys? So we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with that person. You pretty much have every sign out here, so you could be dealing with just about anybody here. But as we go ahead and clarify, hi, baby, uh, we'll, we'll again see if we get a little more clearer about what signs are coming through here. I love you. Mwah. And you, whoa. And you're a little bit crazy on my table. Let's not do that, okay? All right. <laughs> I can't stop this cat from being busy. What am I going to do? Um, and she needs to be in here because my other cat's not happy. So let's go ahead and clarify. I know. It's crazy, right? I'm having a crazy day today. This was a wonderful idea. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. All right, Spirit, what are the clarifying messages you have regarding this reading here for Leo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Um, I do want to say this quickly before I go ahead and clarify. If this is about you guys maybe starting a new job or um, some area of your life where <clears throat> you're making really important choices, um, I, I feel like this has to do with a job and something you really like. Or care about you may be getting a, a job offer it could be something that you really really like um, but and I almost feel like you're fighting for this position okay you might be feeling um, that financial constraint of like needing to only spend a little bit of money here with page of Pentacles um, so, but I feel like there's a new clarity coming here for you regarding choices that you need to make, whether they're financial or emotional, okay? And it's about you um, standing your ground and having boundaries, okay? Because I feel like some people have gotten really clear about the things that they want, the things that they want in a career here, and the things that they would like to have in a relationship, so I think you're moving away from any confusion that you might have had here in the recent past. All right, Leo. Spirit, why do we have the Two of Wands here for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher, June 15th to the 30th. Thank you. The Fool, a new beginning. Choices in a new beginning. Okay, you're ready. You're looking to that. Okay, taking a leap of faith with the Fool starting over okay tell me why the lovers is here please for leo june 15th to the 30th i believe it's the 30th why do we have the lovers here please why do we have the lovers here ten of swords Oof. so heavy energy guys this is the end of something okay and the beginning of something new Maybe there was a lot of really heavy energy around your relationship. You could have very well been with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, I do have Gemini out here as the lover's card very strongly. So um, putting the end to something. I feel like somebody here is taking a leap of faith and ending a relationship with somebody. For others, I almost feel like this is the new beginning. And this is like putting... Um, Putting some hurts, some backstabbing, some stuff away, okay, uh, and, and almost trying again here, okay, um, because I think for some, this wasn't, it's like you love each other, but it's almost like when is this person going to get serious about this relationship, okay, are they going to get serious about it, or am I, I'm just going to sit here, like, in my Ten of Swords, stuck in my thoughts, come to my end, like, I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again and not getting any other result. We're not moving forward. It's no longer romantic. It's fizzling out. Like, what are we doing here? Okay. I feel that for some of you. So I feel like some of you are choosing a new beginning because you want to end a connection you have with somebody. Why is the page of pentacles here, please? Please clarify the page of pentacles. Okay. Oof. So, 
for some, a new offer is coming through that you're going to be considering. This could be engagement for somebody possibly, or just the um, commitment in a relationship. And you're thinking about this with the hanged man and we have the sun. Okay. So you're happy. Um, but you need to think about it because I think for some of you, it's been quite a time, like you've been waiting a long time to feel secure in this relationship or get an offer to be in relationship. So now you're like, well, I'm going to try to see it from your perspective that maybe, you know, relationships are, are like that or being committed, you know, doesn't necessarily work. Others of you are giving up on this relationship because you are seeing something. I, I almost feel like somebody is seeing something very clearly here now. Um, and your perspective has changed in a different way. And you're seeing that this is not the path of happiness for you with this person that they are unwilling to commit. Okay. Some of you might be having some trouble. Um, surrendering to this connection okay um, because you might have some unhappiness within yourself or the person you're connected with you see as an unhappy person okay so this is this turning around very interesting so for those of you trying to get out of the relationship I feel like if they're trying to offer to like commit at the last minute I think you're seeing it for what it is and you're like no I'm good okay I'm good because I know that like this isn't what I'm looking for this isn't the road to happiness for me okay this has put me in a state that I don't like to be in um, and I'm not seeing things clearly I don't know that I know who you are um, you you come off as a happy you know committed person but in the in the privacy um, you're not that okay. I feel a little bit of that for somebody here. That could be one situation Tell me why the page of cups is here, please Why is the page of cups here? Please clarify the page of cups for us Oh boy, I got two cards. All right, so We have the moon and the sword, the ace of swords. So, wow, somebody I think is finding out that um, things are not the way they seem with the moon and the page of swords. So somebody's gone to their intuition to get clarity. I think you guys might have been a little bit blocked um, on clarity on this offer or this person, okay, this romance that you've been in. Um, I think some of you are like, okay, there's some stuff that's hidden here and I'm going to find out the truth. I'm going to do snoop troop, you know what I'm saying? Go on the internet, whatever I got to do to figure this out, okay? So I think that there's some Leos here that want a new beginning because I think you're finding out some truths that were hidden from you, Leo, about maybe a romantic connection uh, with, this, with somebody. Um, but not only that, maybe a romantic connection that they have been um, having outside of your relationship. Like they might have been flirting, talking, um, you know, maybe even making promises or trying to have a date with somebody else. And you're just like, mm -hmm, no, don't be talking about commitment when you doing something behind my back. OK, it feels a little bit like that. For others of you trying to work out this relationship, a new offer is coming in that's like, am I going to be happy with this person? You're really thinking long term, okay? You may not even be willing to surrender to this connection or see it from their perspective at all, okay? Um, they may be wanting to plan a future with you possibly, but I don't know, you know, you guys have been in a state of not knowing what this is and not knowing where it's going. This emotional connection coming through here is a healing conversation where I think they're going to tell you some things that you needed to know. They're going to come clean. They might be very clear about it. They might feel very scared, obviously, if they've been hiding anything with Pisces, the moon. Again, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for somebody because I have quite a few Aquarius cards out here now, and it could be Gemini as well very strongly here so um ouch 
That is the sound of a cat using my leg as a tree. <laughs> All right, why do we have the Seven of Wands here? Please clarify the Seven of Wands for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Oh gosh, I have to crack up because this is just too funny. <laughs> hey, hey, no, we don't play with fire, okay? All right, so coming out over this boundaries here, okay? Setting these boundaries, making the rules. <laughs> She's just staring at me like, I love you. Um, we have the Four of Wands. So this is all about, my precious, this is all about um, happiness celebrations. This could actually be engagements, okay? So I feel like for some of you, why this relationship has been challenging is because possibly a person didn't want to commit. Like I said before, you're trying to see this a different way. Um, with commitment with this person, but it hasn't really been working. I think some of you, um, like I said, have decided to cut off this relationship and others of you, you're trying to work with it. You're trying to get to the bottom of things, why there hasn't been commitment. Um, talking about uh, fighting for the relationship here, so they could be fighting for the relationship or you are. Um, but th with this, this makes me feel like there's an engagement or somebody really wanting to commit, build a life here, um, and somebody else kind of um, being closed off or even defending themselves as to why they haven't wanted to take these steps and go further with you, okay, Leo? I know you're chasing my fingers, all right? <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please clarify the Ace of Swords. Whoa, yeah, you got that. Look at you. Queen of Pentacles. This is clear. Somebody is clear that they want to be in a committed relationship. They're not playing around anymore. What I make up is it could be the female in this situation, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, okay? She is a person who's committed. She's got her stuff together. She wants to be stable, okay? So I feel like all in all, this is about moving a relationship from something that was like, what the hell are we and where are we going with this? And what are you hiding that I might need to know before I make any decisions about what I wanna do here, moving in together, any of that, okay? Um, I have boundaries. Okay, I have boundaries. So if we're gonna be engaged or we're gonna, you know, commit to a long-term relationship, then here's what I gotta set up with you because you've put me in a place that makes me question, you know, whether or not you really wanna be in this relationship. And it's not, people can do things all day, but if a person's way of being is like off from their words, right? Words don't mean much at the end of the day, actions mean words. I almost feel like this person doesn't quite meet in the same place there with words, with the actions, or it's the other way around. They do a lot of things, but they don't say a lot of things. So there's been things missing in this relationship and they haven't been clear about what they want moving forward, okay? So this I feel like is some things coming out, revealing the truth, maybe even how they feel about you deeply in their heart that they do want commitment, but they might have hangups and fears about feeling trapped um, or being unable to like, you know, for, for you, this could even be not, you know, not being able to set boundaries. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> this is a crazy reading. Um, but Leo, in the end here, it looks like if you have a conversation with this person and you work at it, okay? Those of you, you might be moving in together or getting engagement. You're getting clear about relationship and the commitment level here. I think this person does want to commit on some level. I think they have their own hangups about commitment, okay? That they haven't known what they wanted um, and it, they're getting clear and you are also, all right? So moving away to a calmer time here, um, and a change in fortune. So I would not be surprised if by the end of <clears throat> having a clear conversation with somebody here, Leo, you're not moving in together or having an engagement, okay? Um, 
for those of you who are ditching this relationship oh my love please go down thank you okay that's fun play with that <laughs> um, for those of you who are moving away from this relationship I think it's because things felt sketchy anyway and you're just choosing you um, I think you're doing what's true to your heart um, there's something missing here in this relationship it could have to do with commitment and connection but you're getting really clear you're listening to your intuition and you're trusting that and getting clear on it you feel here like you've set your boundaries um, you know you're fighting for your happiness you're fighting for yourself you're fighting for your stability with this four of wands um, with this four of wands being your stability and the seven here being your defending yourself okay defending your choices um, you're very super clear okay you want to be in a commitment and if somebody isn't going to give you a commitment then it's hit the road Jack and don't you come back no more all right so very clear that if commitment isn't available to you you don't have any problem keeping your your crap together here being the mother of the home okay being stable and bad all by yourself all right Leo so this is really really nice so far so what do we want to look at I'm gonna go to this moonology and see if we have anything here I'm just gonna let it happen at this point the cat I mean the readings over pretty much so I'm just gonna let the cat no sniff all the stuff and you know do her thing all right so let's see if we have any messages or advice here for Leo please regarding this spread any messages or advice here for Leo regarding this spread Okay, a time for healing, the balsamic moon. Yes. So I feel like for those of you who still want to work on this relationship, it is time to heal. It's time to talk about the stuff that you guys may not have wanted to really discuss. The uncomfortability, the level of commitment in the relationship, where you guys are going, why are you so vague, why do I feel like you're hiding things, right, Leo? So... Let's see if we have any other messages here <laughs> regarding this spread. Any other messages or advice here for Leo regarding this spread? Hi, baby. Hi. She's just staring away at me like, hey, you're so neat. Any other messages here for Leo regarding this spread? I got to admit, having a little kitten stare at you while you're recording is a little bit uncomfortable. All right. Yes, little baby. Oh my goodness. We have three cards out. Four cards out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Perfect. I think they're all perfect for this situation too. So I'm going to read them. You don't need, they don't want to see kitty booty. Show your cute little face. Okay. So we have a personal issue reaches resolution here. Okay. So, uh, personal issue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hashtag team hot mess today. Uh, personal issue reaching uh, a resolution. Full moon in cancer. So yes, for some of you, I feel like we have this actual cancer energy coming, okay? And it's, it feels like by then or sometime after that, maybe even closer to July, some of you could really be having a resolution or deciding what it is you wanna do regarding this relationship, okay? Working things out with somebody and kind of having a new beginning, moving away from that old energy of the not knowing, like, are we just like um, in a situationship? Like, what's up? And then you have new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. It's time to take action. So for those of you walking away from this, you're feeling this very heavily. Um, it's time to do something, okay? If they're not going to make the choices, then I'm going to choose myself. As a Leo should. Hello. All right. Emotions are running high. Yeah, they would be with the super moon here. So both of you could really be feeling this. There could be a lot of emotions around this for you, Leo. A lot of fear. In choosing yourself if there's nothing horribly wrong with this relationship but you're like I value myself I know what I want and I'm going for that 
you know, this could really make you feel deeply emotional about making a decision because for many of you, I don't think there's anything really, really wrong in the relationship. Some of you, like I said, could have found out that some stuff is going on. Somebody's flirting or, you know, there's a possibility of that. Um, but I think if that's happening, that could be only a very few people. Okay. A win-win outcome is forecast full moon and Libra bringing back balance. Okay. That's when everybody wins. So for those of you healing a relationship, it's going to bring that balance back to your relationship. Everybody wins, you know, setting boundaries, you both setting boundaries, having clear communication. Um, I think it's going to help the relationship. And for those of you splitting up, it's probably going to be a win for you and a win for them. Because if this person is not on the road to commitment, you know, why stay in a relationship and take up somebody else's time, right? It would be time to move on. So they might feel good about the split and you also feel good about the split. So this is the reading I have for you guys, Leo. My hand's getting chewed up. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for putting up with my beautiful little kitten. This is little Ripley who's going nuts in my, in my lap again. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you uh, dealing with the madness today. Um, and thank you for being here. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. And if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in July.